in this video, I will be dealing with a failed starter motor. When turning the ignition, the starter motor can be heard spinning, but is not engaging and turning the engine over. The starter is located on the starboard or right hand side of the engine, underneath the main seawater inlet pipe. The main body of the starter itself houses the electric motor, as can be seen here. Due to the amount of electrical current drawn from the battery into the starter motor, it is not practical to run heavy duty cables to the ignition switch itself. Instead, a solenoid unit is connected to the switch. The solenoid unit is mounted above the motor. The solenoid performs two functions. When the switch is turned on, it applies a low current to the windings of the solenoid and creates a magnetic field. This magnetic field pulls the plunger towards the back of the casing, and on the other end of the casing, there is a contactor bar, which acts as a high current switch and allows the motor to spin. The other end of the plunger is connected to the engagement arm. This thrusts the pinion drive forward, making it engaging through the engine flywheel, and this engagement action was what was suspected to be faulty. To remove the starter, firstly the power must be disconnected from the battery, then the wiring at the back of the solenoid needs to be removed. starter is held in with two 916 bolts which go upwards through the starter casing and into the casting of the engine block. starter out, it's possible to remove the three star cap screws which hold the solenoid onto the casing itself. The solenoid can then be easily withdrawn. Despite the surface corrosion and some dirt on the outside of the starter and the solenoid, the solenoid engagement arm were actually found to be in good mechanical condition. As the engagement mechanism was in good order, I opened up the gear case inside the starter. Here there are three small planetary gears that should engage in the outer gear ring. As can be seen here, the plastic teeth of the outer ring have been completely stripped. This is why the starter was spinning, but not turning over the engine. The planetary gears cannot be replaced separately, and so the starter now needs to be replaced itself. However, this poses the question, why have the gears stripped? Unfortunately, this has happened due to the engine locking up due to taking in water. The damage to the engine will be dealt with in the next video.